Hello guys, this is Deepika from tutorialrack.com. In this section, we're going to go ahead and create a project using Apex and we will be touching each and every aspects of Salesforce. So what we're going to learn from this uh, project, we're going to start with building some custom objects. We will be creating an application, uh, we'll create some tabs and we'll also optimize our page layouts. So this is about the out of the box features of the Salesforce. Then we will move to the programming side of the Salesforce. We will cover Apex classes. We will be creating a couple of Apex classes to integrate with our application. We'll be using SOQL and DML to query the data, create and update the data that we have in the Salesforce database. We'll also will be creating a couple of triggers. So we'll talk about what triggers are. We'll also create visual force pages. We will add controller extension and custom controllers for that Visual Force pages. We'll also see how to add JavaScript and Visual Force page. And we're going to talk about unit testing and we will write some unit tests for our classes. And we will be creating a batch process. So through this project, we will be covering each and every aspect of this. And we will be learning about these different topics in Salesforce, which pretty much covers everything in Salesforce. And we are not going to just be a presentation or a slideshow. We will actually will be building an application. So by end of the course, you will have a full functional application. So what we're going to be covering in this project. So in this project, this is going to be a conference management application project, which basically allows the different conference administrators to manage all the aspects of a conference. So let's say we have a, a conference happening for REST APIs. So there will be an object created which will tag information about the sessions, different sessions that is happening and what time those sessions are happening. Who will be the speaker for those sessions? So who will be the speaker for REST session? Who will be the speaker for Java session? Then we'll also create another object called hotel, which will basically tell us these are the nearby hotel to the conference center. So we will be talking about this whole conference management application. So let's guys, let's start then. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.